strange world is Disney Animation Studios' 61st feature to hit the big screens, and you probably didn't know it was coming out until this point. It hasn't been heavily advertised whatsoever, which is crazy because it stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Dennis Quaid, two big names, and they play a father and son duo known as the Clades. Jaeger Clade, played by Dennis Quaid, is an explorer, and he's macho, and he's looking to explore the mountains and his destiny. His son Searcher, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, is a farmer. He does not want to follow in his father's footsteps whatsoever. But their differences threaten to topple their latest and most crucial mission into uncharted and treacherous territory. Just judging from the trailers here, just the homages that they're paying to the adventure epics of our past, this is a movie I should have adored. It really looks like this movie was paying homage to these bad boys, the Indiana Jones movies, just even down to the font in the title being pretty much identical. And seeing that Jake Gyllenhaal was playing the main character, he's one of my favorite actors working right now, so going into Strange World, I was at least pretty hyped. Admittedly, I left the theater with a little bit more to be desired out of Strange World, unfortunately. So what's the best thing I can say about Strange World? Well, the ideas. I gotta give credit to these animators and these designers for being so inventive. Just look at some of these monsters that these explorers are coming across. And speaking of the animation, just look at it. This is a Disney movie, so the animation being good goes without saying. And it looks really, really good on the silver screen, might I add. The colors pop, they're vibrant. Henry Jackman's score only adds to the epicness and the scope of this movie. But those of you who've been following me for a while know that I feel like a movie is only as strong as the characters within it. And aside from Searcher Clade, who's played by a very game Jake Gyllenhaal, there's really not a whole lot to write home about. Searcher Clade as our main hero is easily given the most development out of any of these characters. He's someone who doesn't want to follow in his father's footsteps, yet he has his own son who doesn't exactly want to follow in his footsteps. Which I'm not going to get too deep into the spoiler territory or anything like that of course, but it kind of gives Searcher more personality traits of his father than he cares to admit. And you can kind of predict what kind of dynamic is going into a father-son Disney movie like this. All about following your destiny and your legacy and remembering who you are. And none of these are bad messages whatsoever. I actually give credit to Strange World where it's due for having its theme actually be centered more towards the parents than the children. Not a bad message whatsoever, but... Come on, if you've seen movies like Finding Nemo, you kind of know the lesson if you're a parent going to take your kid to this movie. And yet, throughout this hour 45 minute runtime, they just kind of keep shoehorning that message in. Which brings me to my biggest problem with Strange World, it's unfortunately the writing. And I was shocked to learn that the writer of this movie is Ki Nguyen. Especially as a theater enthusiast, Ki Nguyen has written a couple of excellent plays. Let me throw some titles at you real quick. She Kills Monsters, Viet Gone. Ki Nguyen was the playwright for both of those hilarious pieces, and I've seen both of them done live, and they're both excellent. And Strange World definitely showcases some of Ki Nguyen's wit as a writer. I did find myself laughing at a few great select points throughout this movie, namely involving this three-legged dog named Legend, who I absolutely adored. He's so, so adorable. But I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of felt like Ki Nguyen's writing was kind of shackled by the Disney formula. Because especially as you get towards the end of this movie, it really feels by the note and formulaic. And this movie is also very, very close in giving you one of my least favorite tropes in any Disney movie is the villain reveal. Thankfully, it doesn't entirely go that direction, but oh man, they had me scared. But the most baffling thing to me about Strange World is, again, aside from Searcher Clade, who is our main hero, that's so it goes without saying, but these supporting characters almost have zero depth to them. His son, Ethan, who shows a lot of promise in his personality, I definitely think a lot of aspects about his character is a step in the right direction for Disney. But aside from him not wanting to be his father, that's all his development. Searcher's wife, Meridian, who's voiced by a very, very fun Gabrielle Union, what's her character? She's a pilot, a natural leader, and that's it. Lucy Liu, who's very funny, plays this badass Kalisto, but what's her character? She wants to follow the mission. That's it. Even the father, Jaeger, who's played by Dennis Quaid, 
what is his character? He's macho, he's an explorer, he wants to fulfill his destiny, but other than that, there's not really much to him. And with Ki Nui in writing these characters, I'm sorry, but it's baffling that these characters have almost zero depth aside from very surface level traits. And if you don't believe me, if you ever see a production of Viet Gone or She Kills Monsters, just look at the characters in those two plays and listen to the writing. It is so much better than in this movie. And I don't explicitly know what happened here. Because I wanted to love this movie. It had so much potential. With the writer that it had and Jake Gyllenhaal in the lead, the score being really good, the homages to all the adventure epics of my childhood, like this should have been right up my alley. But alas, I left the theater just liking it. Because I will give credit to this movie where it's due. The ideas that were in it, super inventive. The strange world, as the title suggests. I was not expecting to be what it turned out to be. Some really cool ideas, which unfortunately has the black cloud of lack of character depth. Which makes this, at best, one of Disney's more mid-attempts. I'm gonna give Strange World a B-. Final verdict, I would much rather be a stranger to this than familiar. But of course, this is all just my opinion. Let me know what you think of Strange World down in the comments section below, because I still strongly suggest that you guys see this movie and find out for yourselves, form your own opinions. Because let's face it, if you have children coming over for Thanksgiving holiday, they're probably going to want to go to the movie theater and do something fun with you. And who knows, if Strange World is their first ever theater experience, it might stick with them for life. But again, feel free to sound off in the comments with all of your thoughts, because I love starting these discussions and making these videos. Getting to interact with you lovely people makes things all the more fun for me. So if you're a new viewer, do consider becoming a subscriber and hit that notification bell right next door. That way you don't miss a second more of the action from here, because trust me, Going till the end of the year, you're not going to want to miss another upload. And do me another favor and hit that like button as well. This is supremely helpful to the channel and helping it continue to grow. Guys, y'all are the best. Stay tuned for more exciting videos hitting very, very soon. With all that being said, back talk, commence! Yeah.